In this video, I'm going to show you the fastest and easiest way to get your TikTok Pixel installed onto your Shopify store. There's lots of different ways to install the Pixel onto your Shopify store, but this is by far the easiest. It requires no coding, and it also gives you all of the important data that you're gonna want inside of your TikTok account, such as add to cart, purchases, viewed content, basically four steps to get this set up. And that's what we're gonna be going through in this video, starting with step number one, which is to make sure that you have a TikTok ads account created. Now, if you don't have a TikTok ads account created, you can check out the link down below. TikTok's always running some sort of limited time ad like credit that you can get when you create a new account. So be sure to take advantage of that in the description. I'll keep that updated with whatever, whatever the latest offer is that TikTok is giving you. Once you've gone through and set up your account, just gone through and click this new advertiser, set that up. It will drop you into a view that looks something like this where you can see it will drop you into something that looks like this, where you have your TikTok ads manager. And then you're gonna to wanna to take note of whatever the account ID is that you see right here, the shop ID. We're gonna use that later to confirm, especially if you have access to multiple different TikTok ads accounts. But nothing else is needed at this point. Once you've actually gone through and you can see that you have a number up here, then you are good to go. Now we're gonna move on to step number two, which is to install the TikTok channel manager. So we're gonna come over here to your Shopify store. And once you are in Shopify, you're gonna click on this little apps icon and then you are going to search for TikTok. And chances are it's gonna be the first one that pops up. Make sure you see the little TikTok logo here. And then we're gonna click on free plans available. And you wanna make sure that this is the developer TikTok Inc. and you can go through and install it. This is 100% free. It doesn't cost you any money and it makes installing and setting up everything for Shopify and uh, TikTok communicating just so easy. I can't, I can't express how awesome this, uh, this uh, app is. So we're gonna click install this onto our Shopify store. And once that is installed, it's going to look something like this. And then now we move on to step number three, which is connected to our TikTok ads account that we've already, we just created, and then also our pixel. So when we come back over here to Shopify, we're going to hit install. And this is what we're looking for right here, the TikTok marketing. You can see the uh, uh, with this setup, we'll optimize our marketing campaigns, create it made simple, and this is the best part, one-click pixel installation. You don't have to worry about coding, you don't have to be a developer or anything like that. We're gonna click setup now. And then we, this is where we're going to click connect account. So this is where it's important uh, to make sure that you have the store ID here. So we're gonna click connect for business and then we're gonna connect here and it should connect to your Shopify or to your, your ads account if you're already logged in. If not, it will prompt you to log in. I have access to lots of different accounts here so I wanna make sure I have the right one. So I'm gonna scroll down and find the right account. And then that was the TikTok business center. So then we're gonna scroll down to the ads manager. And this is where I am looking for this one, Shop Zoco Marketing. And we're gonna come back over here. We're gonna scroll down. If you only have one ads account, you're not gonna have this problem that you only have access to one. So it's not gonna be a big deal, but we're gonna to connect to the right one here. And then next, it's going to ask for the data sharing. Most of the time, you're gonna to wanna to go with enhanced or maximum. You will want to make sure your pol privacy policy is updated to reflect these different things. From here, I am going to go to maximum. And then this is the Shopify Pixel. Now, in my case, it is already finding a Pixel for me. You can see TikTok Pixel for Shopify. This is one that I set up before. If you don't already have a TikTok Pixel created, you can hit Create Pixel right here, and it will then install that Pixel. If you aren't sure if you already have a TikTok Pixel inside of your account, what you can do is come over here to the uh, your TikTok Ads Manager, click on Tools, and then Events, and then you can see it will take you to a view that looks like this, where you can see all the different pixels. You can see this is like the a demo pixel that I have. I have this text pixel, and then I have the t TikTok pixel for Shopify ending in 806. And if I come back over here to uh, this, you can see that is the pixel that it's going to install. Like I said, if you don't already have a TikTok pixel associated with your account, TikTok or Shopify will create one for you automatically if you just click here, create pixel. And you can see then it will go through and create a brand new pixel um, for your account. And then you can go through and switch between the two. For me, I wanna keep it all under this 806 one. So I'm gonna just keep it there and then hit confirm. Then you want to make sure your company information is complete and then we can hit finish setup. And congratulations, your Pixel is now installed. You can see it's just going to give you a view to go through and create campaigns, but I don't recommend creating campaigns through Shopify. I recommend creating those through the actual TikTok ads manager. But in order to confirm that the Pixel is actually firing on your, uh, you, you, before you continue, you want to make sure you, the, tick, the Pixel is actually firing. So we want to confirm, confirm that all these events are firing, which is step number four. And in order to do that, what you want to do is just Google TikTok Pixel Helper, uh, TikTok Pixel Helper for Chrome, add that to your Chrome, 
And then here you can see I have it up in the top uh, top corner. It's gonna look something like this. Then you go to your Shopify store. And once you are on your Shopify store, you're gonna wanna refresh the page. And then here you can see once you click down on this little pixel helper, it will tell you what is what events are currently firing. So you can see right now, here's our, uh, our pixel that ends in 806. And then a page view uh, event did go through and fire. And then if I wanted to make sure that a content view fired, I can click on a specific page here. And then we click on this and you can see the view content uh, event fire. And then you'll just want to go through and do that for all of the different stages of your funnel to make sure that everything is firing correctly. And then within about 24 hours, you're going to want to come in here to your TikTok ads manager, click on tools and then go to events. So you see this view right here and then make sure events are firing on your pixel inside of act the actual TikTok. So you can see you can click inside of here and this is automatically going to set it up so that you can see content views, add to cart purchases, everything all the way through the funnel. And you can test events inside of here as well. If you wanted to, it's just another way to go through and test those events. Um, but this will give you all the information that you're going to need for your TikTok pixel. Now, of course, setting up the TikTok pixel doesn't do really any good unless you start running TikTok ads. So if you want to learn how to run TikTok ads, I have a full free course that will walk you through how to set up a very profitable campaign that you can check out right here. And we'll see you in the next one.